just like a glowing orb. It's crazy. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Grandma, Grandma, and Grandpa. We just camped last night underneath these awnings and caught an incredible sunrise. It's about 5.10 in the morning. The sun peaked right over that mountain at about 5.02. We're pretty stoked because this is the first sunrise we've caught. This is amazing looking. Colors haven't been correct in most of the mountain places that we've been staying at, but here it is just phenomenal. We are taking pictures for Instagram. We are just absorbing the energy for the sun. I'm actually pretty stoked for being five o'clock in the morning. You getting good shots? He's taking some amazing shots for Instagram. Your B-bars look awesome too. Ugh. Ugh, Cody, that is, a oh, you can even do the sun through the frame. Look at that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at that. Hello. You're so happy to be in Japan. What's the plan for today? I think we might have a fixed computer. Cheers. So I don't know if I explained this completely, but Cody's been having computer issues for I think two or three days now. We've been trying to fix it. We were actually considering him taking a train to Osaka to the Mac store in order to get it fixed because we were just having so many issues. But I decided to uh, take a crack at it for a couple hours and I think we got it fixed now. Just split off from Cody. It took me about two hours to get his laptop working again. I just need a shower so bad. I couldn't get any work done, couldn't concentrate just because I could smell myself. So that's what I'm doing right now, I was looking for a shower. I'm on the right track being near a beach and I think I might have just found one. I am expecting this to be pretty cold. Usually the water in the pipes near the surface kind of warm up during the day. As soon as the groundwater beneath it fills up the pipes, it just starts getting freezing cold. All right, that got really cold really quick. Ooh. Five seconds of warm water and then it just blasts me with cold. Woo! These socks are almost ready to be retired. Shower felt absolutely amazing. Gonna grab some stuff from the grocery store. They are huge and they're cheap. I'm not gonna get any, but they are just ginormous. If you've ever played Super Mario 2 for the original Nintendo, you pull turnips out of the ground and now I understand where they got the inspiration from. Ooh. Boom, snack of the day, brought to you by whatever this is. It's got the Tootsie Pop owl on it and they look like little bird eggs. It was 30 yen from a grocery store. It looks like it might be corn based, I don't know. It smells corn based. They have like an eggy look to them. They're covered in like a sticky salt. Oh, oh. Oh, it's got a peanut inside. I can deal with that. A little bit sweet, a little bit peanutty. Definitely different. Easily gonna be able to eat the whole bag. Tastes like corn pop cereal but harder and not as sweet with a peanut in the middle. Gotta have my pops. Finish the whole bag, snack of the day was a success. I think I slept on my neck wrong yesterday. I'm having like discomfort slash pain upon movement when I turn my head to look back and just turn my head in general to like talk to Cody. I think we rode like 40 Ks yesterday. I don't know if I told you guys that. Ugh, stop for a break and snack of the day outside of this abandoned building. I can't find a way in. I might just take a nap out here. Traffic is awful along this ride. We went two days with beautiful, beautiful riding and then it's just pfft, traffic. Ugly riding, ugly roads on our way from. We're following this coaster up from Imabari. We'll get to Saijo or a little bit farther today. I'm still seeing a bunch of cyclists going the opposite direction on tours. It makes it feel like the norm here. Is this a weird way to travel? Uncle Dan, what do you think? There's a bunch of fish surfacing over there, and there's actually like a school of stingray that keeps swimming. There's one right there. Fun fact, we are now in Shikoku. So Shikoku is the fourth largest island in Japan. I believe Honshu is the biggest. Hokkaido is the second biggest, and then Kyushu, and then Shikoku. It's famous for this pilgrimage that people do, this trail that they walk, bike, bus, or drive in their car, called the Pilgrimage of 88 Temples. They travel all around Shikoku visiting 88 temples, 
with their little stamp book. It's supposed to bring them good fortune, good luck, provide 88 good deeds in the world. That's this place called Moss Burger a bunch of time. I finally am getting around to trying it. With the spicy moss. So I probably passed this joint like 10, like 10 or 15 times. And I've been wanting to try it and I finally gave in. I have not eaten a big lunch today. It's around 5.30. I'm gonna destroy this burger and then meet up with Cody. All right, my first impressions of this bad boy is it's tiny. This was over $5, $5.50. And I could eat like three of these. Toasted bun, tomato, chopped onion, some sort of spicy sauce. That's literally like tomato sauce. I just tasted it. Jalapeno peppers, a very, very thin slice of cheese, and two patties. And there's a little bit of mustard in there. So far, disappointed. I mean, it's good. But I'm starved for calories and it's not a lot of food, but it's good. Never had a burger with marinara sauce on it before. And I ordered the spicy and it's not that spicy. Up with Cody. This is the first time I've seen this. How is this a handicapped fountain? This looks like every other single one we've had. And there's rocks and crap up leading up to it. It looks more difficult to access than any other one we've seen. It's the dragon pump. Pump the dragon pump. But it looks so fun. It looks fun and it looks tasty. Fresh out of the ground, Japanese water. Tastes good. Closing in on seven o'clock. Today was much of a ride day and a fixed day. The big win was getting Cody's laptop working again. I know he's super stoked and thankful for that. Oh, we're probably gonna do about 50 something Ks today. If you're enjoying the content like my Uncle Dan is, be sure to thumb the video up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have any encouraging comments, if you wanna send us your travel prayers, put them in the comment section. We read them all. And if you wanna see where we camp tonight, make sure to check out tomorrow's video. Thanks everybody for watching, bye. Orange construction bears. I went a little crazy at the half off grocery before we camped. Um, all this food right here is about $20, maybe a little bit less. But in Japan, that is an amazing value.